Hi, my name's Kevin, and I'm a librarian. This is my library, and I like to think it's the best library in the world. I just really love books. Anything to do with books are great. No music, no laughing, no smiling, no, no, no. I run a pretty tight ship around here, and our library is the most organized there is. This book goes in here. This is my assistant. No, my apprentice, Hugo. He's a bit slow, but his heart's in the right place. No reading! Ah, uh, no, Hugo, he's allowed to do that. <clears throat> Good morning, library! Hey there, sit down, Kevin. straight to the punchline. No one really likes you very much. What? Well, you're straight. You're boring. And basically you've scared everyone away. So, we've decided to hire another librarian who's going to inject a little life into the place. Sir, I've already got an assistant. It's too late, Kevin. I've already hired him. Meet Jerry. What do you call this? That? This. It's a poster. That's me. That's an iPod. And you better get used to stuff like this going out all around this library. Because I'm changing it every which way from Sunday. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Oh yeah? Yeah. What do you call that? And all of a sudden, everyone loved Jerry. But not me. I knew he was up to something. And with my knowledge of books, I knew it would only be a matter of time before I found out what. So I decided to put my best man onto the case. Jerry. Yeah, I got a lockdown. Word. I know he's doing it. I just don't know how. How can he get the books out of the library without issuing them? Unless. No! Damn it! The system is perfect. The only other way into the library is this... through those skylights. But how would he get a book through them? He'd need some sort of hoisting device. Like a really long snake. I'm gonna go and check the perimeter for tunnels. Ah, Kevin. Jerry. I see you can read my name tag. <sighs> yeah, well, make all the jokes you want, but you won't be laughing when I tell the big guy upstairs that you just got caught with your hand in the bookie jar. Kevin, I'm very disappointed with you. You, my boy, are a disgrace to your family, to the whole agrarian community. You're fired. A rope, of course, the clues were all there.
Dear God. What the hell is this? I thought you'd find me here eventually. Would you like something to read? Or something to eat? You're sick. Yes, I... I know. I'm always sick. Maybe it's because you live in a dumpster and eat books. Jerry, in the living room, did you want a sofa made of non-fiction books or fiction books? Because I think that... Oh. Excuse his buffoonery, for he is but a boy in a world of men. However, my cocoon of books is nearly complete, and when it is, none of the germs of the world will be able to touch me. I have everything I could ever desire here. Mostly books. But now you have seen it, I will have to kill you with the fifth edition of financial accounting. Oh yeah? Understand this. Sorry for betraying you, Kevin. Look, let's consider this case returned or, or closed. Returned. We got a Pizza Hut on the way home? No. We got the steel. No. Oh, we get, like, no. What?